Hi everyone, it's Gary Nicholson here for the Mountain Weather Information Service. This is your planning outlook on Thursday the 12th of December. A very wintry pattern on the mountains over the next few days. Terrain widely frozen and snow covered and some substantial snow depths developing particularly on western mountains in Scotland. But the Cairngorms will see a good amount as well through the next day or so. Severe conditions at times then with the risk of gales. Conditions will vary from day to day. Just looking a little bit quieter in the start of next week. So quite a bit to get through. Let's dive straight in with the temperatures. This is the 850 millibar level, that between around 1100 and 1300 metres up in the atmosphere, corresponding to those high tops then. For Friday, low pressure is centred over the North Sea and we've got chilly air that's wrapped around the low, not deeply cold air, but nevertheless terrain generally frozen across the mountains, particularly in Scotland. I see on the higher tops of England and Wales, you might find that the freezing level though is around 800 metres or above for a time. Colder temperatures drag their way across Scotland overnight and into Saturday. Much mountain terrain frozen from lower levels up then through into the weekend. Only coastal fringes may be above freezing up to around four or 500 metres. Otherwise, it's sub-zero. Situation through Saturday into Sunday sees quite a tongue of cold air coming in from the west. There's scope for snowfalls even across the peak and Pennines at this stage. Just to skip the story on, you'll see how we stay more or less in the cold air mass this through into the early days of next week. Not a great deal changing over a few days here. Just with time gradually through into the middle of the week, we just see a push of milder air trying to come in from the southwest. That, though, is about a week away at this stage. So naturally, some uncertainty is just how that milder air does behave by the time we get there. Let's look through snow depth, this forecast off one of the models, and starting off with later part of Friday with the accumulations already in place across the highlands. And just to run things on through the weekend and some substantial falls coming in to the West Highlands in particular. Quite a complicated series of fronts, so maybe some variation through the course of the weekend. Who sees the most any one time? And uh, as we go through into Saturday evening and night, just notice how things start to develop across Wales and the southern Pennines. That's one to watch, just what happens to this next front coming in here. Could be a substantial snowfall across the Peak District and Pennines through into early Sunday. Total snow depth then across the highlands, according to the model, anywhere between 20 and 40, perhaps even greater amounts of centimetres through this weekend in a few spots. So some substantial depths there across the highlands and could be 10 to 15 centimetres plus across Snowdonia and even parts of the Pennines. This just running the sequence on to show the general snow depth that's in existence as we go into next week. And you see it's not uh, retreating. So that uh, winter frozen mountain terrain will stay in place for a few days at least into next week and maybe well on into the week. This is Wednesday and it may be beyond that before a thaw starts to develop for some. Let's show you the synoptic charts day by day. And this is Friday's situation, low pressure over the North Sea. The wraparound of a front is uh, across the eastern side of Scotland. Could give constant snow to the Cairngorms, particularly eastern areas, through the course of the day as that thing wraps itself around from the north. We've got uh, another frontal zone affecting Wales and parts of the Pennines with some frequent clusters of showers coming in from the Irish Sea. Most of those rain, but a hail snow just over the highest tops, I suspect, in Snowdonia. Central and southwest Scotland getting away essentially with a dry day on Friday with some sunshine coming through. Strongest of the winds focus then across Wales and the Pennines gale force on the hills. And widely gale force winds uh, threatening for Saturday. Some variations locally in terms of the absolute peak strength but be prepared for severe wind chill on the mountains from fairly modest levels upwards. The westerly flow will drive in the snow from the west. Uh, now that's uh, pretty constant across the West Highlands in some places. The precise local detail of who gets the worst open to question even at this stage. But uh, just be prepared for whiteout conditions on the mountains. A really severe day then. One to really think carefully about heading out and making sure you've got your winter kit and survival techniques in place. That's not being sensational, that's just uh, being practical in these sorts of conditions through the winter season. Notice the next low that's approaching towards the southwest of Ireland, that's the feature that's likely to bring the snow to the Pennines by Saturday night. This is how that behaves according to one of the forecast models through Saturday evening. It comes into Wales first and sets in with some rain at lower slopes, but increasingly snow to lower levels here through Saturday evening. 
and that's as it goes through into the early hours of Sunday and it's just how far north or south the wraparound or a front uh, is across the Pennines as to who sees the snow or whether any of it on its southern flank turns more to rain. I suspect the cold air is extensive enough to give a substantial snowfall though across the hills at least. That feature is more or less gone though by the time we get into Sunday daytime. We're still in a generally cold air mass with centres of low pressure just circulating around over the northern parts of Europe at this stage. Another feature coming in from the southwest may give some frequent showers of snow and hail to Wales. And there's still bits of fronts coming in from the west across Scotland again to give snow and whiteout for some over a good many hours. The strength of the wind again could be gale force for some. Some local lulls conditions may well vary so keep an eye on your forecast but again prepare for some severe winter conditions in some places. Eastern mountains of Scotland getting away comparatively drier with the highest of the cloud bases and even parts of the lakes and the southern uplands may well find yourself in a bit of a window of drier weather. Things starting to open out a bit on Monday, still got generally low pressure and still the remnants of various fronts uh, draped around Britain. It may be that the winds are less strong, but just watch for this feature across Wales that could still develop into gale force winds for a time. Still some areas of snow showers and flurries just to be aware of, again focused more on western mountains. Terrain then staying frozen from lower levels upwards and where skies clear overnight, some very low temperatures in the highlands at least. Similar story into Tuesday, pressure building a bit from the south, just tipping the airflow more to the south-southwest, not doing much for the temperatures at this stage. It stays cold, few showers around, mostly around northern and western coastal hills in Scotland, one or two dregs around West Wales. For many, it could just be a fine, cold winter's day. The next fronts are starting to show themselves over the Atlantic, and that's the suggestion of a change then developing through the middle of the week. Now it must be said that many computer models don't handle the transition from cold air to less cold air very well and it could be that the story evolves a bit from where we are at this stage. What looks likely though is that that low that's over the Atlantic will start to edge in and there's pressure building somewhat across Central Europe. It just tips that airflow into a south by southwesterly across Britain and starts to draw in a milder source region that's come more from the Azores and perhaps even the Canaries. Pushing milder air in, it may not quite get uh, that far across Scotland if the low doesn't make too much progress, so just be aware that the mountain terrain may well stay substantially frozen or even only just a short-lived thaw if that mild air is only temporary. England and Wales, I suspect, will see a more marked thaw for a few days as the milder air is likely to get in a bit further. Could be some snow on the leading edge of some fronts which turns more readily to rain as that spreads up from the southwest. Now onwards towards the run up to Christmas, it looks as though low pressure is still on the scene. It may well be we go back to air masses coming in from the west and northwest with time air that's originated around Greenland and Iceland so we could just find ourselves back to square one with rather chilly westerlies and mountain terrain at least in Scotland being largely frozen. England and Wales a bit more of a freeze thaw pattern but uh, still on the cool side I would have thought. Fairly unsettled still with that low pressure system quite nearby. One or two indications just start to drag some of those lows a bit further southwards and I wouldn't rule out at this stage the lows being further south and if they are then much colder air could get back into the picture. That is low on confidence it must be said at this stage. So it looks like we do have something of a milder interlude trying to get in. It's all then very critical of what that does in terms of where we go towards Christmas. If it doesn't get in too far, we could find that cold and wintry conditions still prevail towards the festive period. I'll update you on that one next time then on Monday. Stay up to date, of course, with your local forecast every day on our website and follow us on the social media channels for some extra info as well. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.